Ever wondered what are the most effective ways to meet your ideal partner in Europe? Well, you're not alone. The European dating scene is as diverse and vibrant as the continent itself, offering a plethora of opportunities for singles to find their perfect match. Europe is a melting pot of cultures, languages, and traditions. This cultural diversity creates a unique dating landscape where love transcends borders and the possibilities are endless. It's not just about finding a partner, it's about embarking on an exciting cultural exploration where each date could be a new adventure. In Europe, dating is often viewed as a more casual social affair compared to other parts of the world. There's a sense of openness and freedom where people are encouraged to express themselves and explore their interests. This laid back approach to dating can be incredibly liberating, allowing relationships to develop naturally over time. Across Europe, you'll find a wide variety of dating practices. From the romantic strolls along the Seine in Paris, to the lively tapas dates in Madrid or the cozy coffee meetups in the cafes of Vienna, every country adds its own flavor to the dating scene. And let's not forget about the charm of the British pub dates or the passionate Italian dinners under the stars. Europe truly offers a smorgasbord of dating experiences. But what makes the European dating scene truly stand out is its openness to diversity. Europeans are generally open-minded and accepting, which is reflected in their dating culture. Whether you're straight or part of the LGBTQ community, whether you're a local or a foreigner, there's a place for you in the European dating scene. And it's not just about the big cities. From the sunny beaches of Greece to the snowy peaks of Switzerland, romance can be found in the most unexpected places. So whether you're a city slicker or a nature lover, Europe's got something for you. Now you may be curious about how to navigate this exciting terrain. Fear not, we have got you covered. Before you dive into the European dating scene, it's crucial to understand yourself first. Why is self-understanding so vital, you may ask? Well, imagine embarking on a journey without a map or even a clear destination. That's what dating without self-understanding can feel like. It's like sailing in the vast ocean without a compass. You may encounter beautiful islands and exciting adventures, but without a clear sense of direction, you might just end up going in circles. Knowing yourself is about more than just understanding your likes and dislikes. It's about recognizing your values, your aspirations, your strengths, and even your weaknesses. It's about being honest with yourself about what you want out of a relationship. Are you looking for a casual romance or are you ready to settle down? Do you value intellectual stimulation or is emotional compatibility more important to you? These are the questions that only you can answer. Think about your interests. What lights up your eyes and makes your heart beat faster? Is it art, music, sports, philosophy, or maybe something else entirely? Your passions are not just hobbies. They are a reflection of who you are. When you meet someone who shares these interests, you'll have a common ground to start from, which can lead to deeper levels of connection. Then there are your values. What principles guide your life? Honesty, loyalty, kindness, ambition, or perhaps a strong sense of adventure? Your values shape your decisions and behavior, and finding someone who shares your values can lead to a harmonious relationship. And let's not forget about your relationship goals. Are you looking for a life partner, or do you prefer to keep things casual? Your goals can guide you in choosing the right partner and setting the course for your relationship. So take some time to reflect, to really get to know yourself. It might not always be easy, and it might force you to face some uncomfortable truths, but it's a journey well worth undertaking. Knowing yourself is the first step in finding a partner who truly complements you. Europe is home to several dating platforms, but which ones are worth your time? As we delve into the world of European dating platforms, we find a diverse landscape teeming with options. Among the most popular is Badoo, a London-based platform that's been around since 2006. This dating giant offers a unique feature called Encounters, a quick fire way to say yes or no to a potential match based on their photos. With over 400 million users worldwide, Badu's user demographic is as diverse as it gets. Next up is Medic, headquartered in France. Medic is the go-to platform for singles looking for serious relationships. 
It offers a detailed personality test to match you with compatible singles, putting an emphasis on shared values and interests. Medic is popular among the 30 to 45 age group with an almost equal distribution of male and female users. From the Netherlands, we have Lexa, another heavyweight in the European dating scene. Lexa's unique selling point is its organized events and activities for members, encouraging real-world interaction. The majority of Lexa users are aged between 25 and 44 with a slight preference for the ladies. And let's not forget about Parship, based out of Germany. Parship is known for its scientific approach to matchmaking. They use a 40-minute personality test to determine compatibility, making it a favorite for those who appreciate a more analytical approach to love. Parship's users are typically aged 30 and above with a balanced gender ratio. Last but certainly not least, we have Tinder. Although not exclusive to Europe, this American-born platform has a massive European user base. Known for its swipe right, swipe left feature, Tinder is a favorite among the younger crowd, with the majority of its users aged between 18 and 34. Choosing the right platform can significantly boost your chances of meeting your ideal partner. So whether you're into quick encounters, shared interests, organized activities, scientific compatibility, or simply swiping right, there's a European dating platform waiting for you. In Europe, social events are a great way to meet potential partners. Now, let's delve into the types of social events that can potentially lead you to your ideal partner. First off, let's talk about festivals. Europe is famous for its vibrant and diverse festivals, from Oktoberfest in Germany to La Tomatina in Spain. These events gather people from all walks of life, making them perfect hunting grounds for singles. Not only do you get to enjoy the festivities, but you also have the opportunity to mingle with a diverse crowd. Next up, we have social clubs. Whether you're into hiking, reading, or wine tasting, there's likely a club for that. Uh, joining social clubs based on your interests can lead you to like-minded individuals. It's a more relaxed environment where connections can be built organically. Now onto a more formal setting, professional networking events. These are not just for career advancement, but are also excellent avenues to meet potential partners. Often these events attract driven, ambitious individuals. So if that's your cup of tea, don't miss out on them. When attending these events, it's crucial to keep in mind the local customs and etiquettes. Europeans in general value respect and politeness. So always be on your best behavior. Be mindful of personal space, listen attentively, and avoid controversial topics during conversations. Remember, it's not just about making a good impression, but also about showing genuine interest in others. Also, don't forget to have fun. European social events are often lively and full of energy. So let loose, enjoy the moment, and don't put too much pressure on yourself to find a partner. Often the best connections are made when you're not actively looking. And finally, be open. Be open to meeting all sorts of people, not just those who you think are your type. Remember, love often comes in the most unexpected forms. Remember, social events are not just about finding a partner, but also about enjoying the experience. So go out there, immerse yourself in the European social scene, and who knows, your ideal partner might just be a festival, a club meeting, or a networking event away. Cultural differences can be a challenge in international dating, but they can also be an opportunity. Let's dive right in. The first step in embracing cultural differences is understanding. Take the time to learn about your partner's culture their traditions, their values. This isn't just about knowing the capital of their country or their national dish. I'm talking about delving into the history, understanding the social norms, the etiquette, the unique quirks that make their culture what it is. One thing to remember is that this understanding comes with time. You can't rush it. You can't cram it in like a last minute study session. It's a journey and like any journey, it has its ups and downs, its twists and turns, but it's a journey worth taking. Once you've begun to understand your partner's culture, the next step is respect. This is crucial. Respect their traditions, their beliefs, their way of life. This doesn't mean you have to agree with everything or adopt their customs as your own, but it does mean acknowledging their importance and value. It means being open-minded and receptive, even when things feel foreign or unfamiliar. 
Perhaps the most significant part of embracing cultural differences is incorporating them into your relationship. This could mean celebrating holidays from both your cultures, learning each other's languages, or cooking traditional meals together. It's about creating a blend, a mix, a fusion that represents both of you. But remember, while it's important to embrace your partner's culture, it's equally important to stay true to your own. A relationship is a two-way street, and cultural exchange should be mutual. Share your traditions, your values, your culture with your partner. Let them see the world through your eyes, just as you see it through theirs. In the end, cultural differences aren't a barrier to love. They're a bridge, a bridge that connects two people, two worlds, two perspectives. And crossing that bridge, exploring what lies on the other side, can make your relationship richer, more vibrant, more fulfilling. Embracing cultural differences can make your relationship richer and more fulfilling. Communication is the bridge that connects hearts, especially in a relationship. This statement couldn't be truer. When it comes to relationships, effective communication is a cornerstone that shouldn't be overlooked. It's the lifeblood that keeps the relationship going strong, healthy, and vibrant. Imagine you're in a relationship with someone from Europe. You might not share the same mother tongue, but does that mean you can't have a meaningful relationship? Absolutely not. In fact, it can even be an opportunity to deepen your bond by learning each other's languages and cultures. So how do you communicate effectively in a relationship? One key element is expressing your feelings. It's essential to let your partner know what you're feeling, whether it's joy, love, frustration, or sadness. This openness can build trust deepen intimacy and foster an environment where both of you feel comfortable sharing your innermost thoughts and emotions. Next, let's talk about setting boundaries. Boundaries are crucial in any relationship. They are the invisible lines that define what is acceptable and what is not. They help to create a sense of safety and respect between partners. To set boundaries, you must first understand what you are comfortable with and what you are not. Then communicate these boundaries clearly to your partner. Remember, boundaries are not about controlling the other person, but about respecting each other's individuality and personal space. Finally, we come to conflict resolution. It's inevitable that disagreements will arise in a relationship. However, it's how you handle these conflicts that can make or break your relationship. The key here is to approach conflicts with an open mind and a willingness to understand your partner's perspective. Avoid blaming and name-calling. Instead, focus on the issue at hand and work together towards a solution. In conclusion, communication in a relationship is not just about talking. It's about listening, understanding, expressing, and resolving. It's about creating a safe space where both you and your partner can grow and flourish. And remember, it's a two-way street. Both partners need to be active participants in the communication process. Remember, Good communication is the backbone of a healthy relationship. Finding your ideal partner in Europe may seem daunting, but it's definitely achievable. We've covered a lot of ground in our discussion today, so let's take a moment to revisit the main points to ensure they're fresh in your mind. Our journey started with the importance of self-understanding. Reflecting on who you are and what you want is the first step to finding a partner who complements you. We talked about identifying your values, your interests, and your relationship goals. Remember, the clearer your understanding of yourself, the better you'll be able to identify what you're looking for in a partner. Next, we delved into the world of European dating platforms. We explored the benefits of these platforms and how they can connect you with people you may not meet in your everyday life. We emphasized the importance of choosing a platform that aligns with your dating goals, whether you're looking for a casual connection or a long-term commitment. Navigating social events was our next stop. We discussed the importance of stepping out of your comfort zone to meet new people. Whether it's a local pub, a concert, or a cultural festival, these social gatherings offer a great opportunity to meet like-minded individuals. We also talked about embracing cultural differences. Europe is a tapestry of diverse cultures, and understanding these cultural nuances can enrich your dating experiences. It's about respecting and appreciating the differences that make each of us unique. Communication also played a starring role in our discussion. We stress the importance of open and honest communication in any relationship. It's about expressing 
your feelings, your thoughts, and your expectations clearly and respectfully. And there you have it, a recap of our journey through the European dating scene. Each of these steps, from self-understanding to communication, plays a crucial role in your quest to find your ideal partner in Europe. Remember, the journey to finding your ideal partner should be just as enjoyable as the destination. Good luck.